Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. My name is Angel, and as you can hear, um, I'm battling battling a cold. Uh, My wife has been sick, and uh, she started to get better, and now I guess it's my turn. So I'm going to make this a very short um, show today. I'm trying to get my rest, but I did not want to skip a day. Even though I'm not feeling well, um, I want to make sure that I continue to do these episodes each and every day. So forgive me for my voice, and I plan on uh, overcoming this head cold uh, very soon. I want to talk to you today about different things that have happened um, in um, in my life, and as well as um, others that I have spoken with throughout the past couple of years. Um, and that is really just dealing with constant battle, uh, battling with different types of behaviors. So I guess you can say this title is uh, based on behavior. You know, in life, we're going to go through so many different obstacles. We're going to do so many different challenges. And one of the things that I've always believed in is um, your actions. And your actions speak louder than words. We've all heard that before. We've all had been told, well, you know, um, you say you're a good person, but you know your actions don't speak, uh, you know, for what your words say or, you know, or you go out into the world and you say something that's just rude and they always tell you, you know, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Over the course of the last couple of years, you know, I've dealt with so many different people in my life where they have constantly ridiculed me for being uh, a straight arrow person. Even when I first started dating my wife, she told me, you're so straight arrowed. You're so, you know, by the book, but you're always, you know, you're just always so good at everything you do you, as far as trying to do the right thing. I think a lot of that is how we're raised. I think a lot of that is based on um, how we interact with other people based on what we saw when we were younger. You know, growing up, you know, we, myself, you know, watching different types of cartoons, believe it or not, had meaning. Even the music that was written back, you know, in the 80s, they had meaning, Um Nowadays, it seems as if, you know, we continue to see so many people uh, get fame or or, um, exposure for saying things that are just so disrespectful to many other people. And then you see kids constantly being bullied, constantly going out into the world and and just uh, copycatting and uh, and, and, and seeing what's on TV and thinking it's okay. One of the things I want to tell you is that we are all responsible for our actions. We are all responsible for the way we go out into the world and we show people, you know, who who we are and where we're from. My faith allows me to be that person. (coughs) My faith allows me the opportunity to be successful. And I believe that. I believe that when I leave my home and I pray and I thank God for everything he's given me on the good days and on the bad, he allows me the ability to stay focused, stay uh, sound-minded. And having, you know, good brothers and sisters and, and mother and father to raise me that way surely was helpful. But let's be honest, sometimes you may not grow up in the right type of environment, but yet you associate with people that that do. Um, we're all influences on each other. We all know that when we are put into an environment or in a structure uh, or um, some type of an atmosphere, whether it's at work, school, you know, even church, if you don't feel that that's something you should be a part of, if you feel that that's something that you know God is not leading you in the right direction or in the right path, that's when you have to take a step back and realize this may not be the right place for you. I know for myself... Um, I've lost friendships. I've been let go of my job before. And um, I've always felt like I've taken the better road, the better door, when my gut or my faith allows me to identify uh, areas or situations that I should not be along, belong to. And I just wanted to touch base on that. You know, we all have that opportunity to, to be a better person, to be a better uh example for others one of the things that we can do 
is that we can listen to our elders, respect our elders, and learn from our mistakes. That's the key. Because we all make mistakes and we're not perfect. We all, at one point or another, have made errors. It's learning from those errors. It's learning from your mistakes. It's learning from things that you do on accident, whether that's hurt someone's feelings, whether that's you know doing something that maybe you didn't realize was the right choice after it's been presented to you. It's learning from that and applying it and utilizing it and not making the same mistakes. You know, one of the things that I want to do with this show is constantly reemphasize things that have happened in our daily lives, things that have happened to each and every one of us and to expose it and to show each and every one of us that we're not perfect. Now, we know God is, but we know that in our lives, in our daily struggles, we will always, always battle or see someone or have encounter with some individuals that will steer us off the track, that will steer us, steer us off the road and try to steal that joy. Remember your actions. Remember your words. Remember all the things that have been taught or have you been taught by. Apply them so that you can be a better person today, tomorrow, and maybe even next year. For that, I just say this. You never know who's watching you never know who's who's looking up to you and you never know who you may inspire. So make your choices uh, by your faith, but make your choices by your gut and know that when you're in a situation or an environment that doesn't make you feel good, if a red flag presents itself, think about it. Don't react. Be proactive. And I guarantee you, God will see you through. I'm going to cut this short today because as you can hear, I'm not getting any better. But I wanted just, just to do a quick quick episode because it meant it means much to me that I keep this going and I will not try to I will not miss a day I refuse to for have faith let it begin my name is Angel and have a great day